So my name is Elena Rezaninova. I work uh, as a project manager and a community manager for a Czech uh, organization, Business and Professional Women. And uh, we are, uh, you know, <laughs> Business and Professional Women from the introduction from, from Lenka already. Uh, and uh, I would like to dedicate this time to the to the topic uh, AI opportunities for women bridging bridging family career and uh, uh, learning. That is actually uh, like how artificial intelligence offers the opportunities for women uh, in the area uh, areas of uh, family career and education. So, okay. <laughs> Um, well, uh, in um, today's fast-paced digital world, uh, artificial intelligence plays uh, an um, increasing role in all aspects of our lives. Uh, this technological ad advance, or did I? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, technological advance brings uh, new opportunities, but also challenges. Focusing on women is uh, particularly uh, important uh, because historically women uh, have often been underrepresented in this field, uh, in the tech and dig digital fields, and artificial intelligence uh, can uh, bridge this gap and offer women new opportunities in both their professional and uh, personal lives. And uh, connecting to the topics of uh, family, career, and education is actually key because AI can uh, help uh, women better balance uh, between these three main, maybe main pillars of their lives, uh, and uh, which has actually a positive impact not only for their own lives but at the society as a whole. And uh, the aim of this presentation is to show concrete uh, ways uh, that AI can support women in different uh, areas of life and maybe to inspire you <laughs> to start using uh, the technologies in your professional and personal lives. So, so let's say something about the current situation uh, in the digital world. Uh, according to recent studies, women uh, participation in the technical, uh, technical fields including AI, uh, is still lower than that of men. Uh, although the IT world uh, has long been considered a male-dominated uh, world, uh, the trend is gradually changing. Maybe not as fast as we would like to, but it's changing. <laughs> um, the work, i uh, work in IT is one of the um, Oh, sorry, is one of the highest paid positions. And, uh, wait, so sorry, yet fewer than a third of women are in this field. So in 2023, you can see that uh, there were only 26.7% registered in this field and 50% of them report the discrimination and, uh, and gender inequality. Maybe uh, these stereotypes are also the, uh, also, uh, the main issue why women don't want to participate in this field. So let's change the society <laughs> a little bit. Um, it's important that women uh, in a male-dominated industries are given the space and opportunities uh, to reach senior positions. Companies are mainly afraid uh, to employ women because of the fear of motherhood, uh, that women are not capable to uh, work as hard as, uh, as without having a children and family taking care of them. And, but nowadays, 
a large uh, large portion of um, of women uh, of mothers are also working. They just need a little bit different conditions, a little bit different approach uh, for their work. <laughs> and there are many initiatives that are trying to increase uh, the involvement of the women in AI. I found, for example, um, global initiative, Women in AI. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can find them, you can Google them. It's, uh, it's really inspiring uh, work they do in a lot of states. <laughs> and. Uh, other initiatives focus, for example, on raising awareness uh, of career uh, opportunities in AI for women. Okay, so let's look at the opportunities and the challenges. Uh, there are many online courses and uh, training programs that offer uh, women the opportunity to gain AI skills without the need of uh, traditional college uh, education. Uh, these, program, uh, these programs uh, allowed women to retrain and prepare, uh, prepare uh, for the new uh, career opportunities uh, that the artificial intelligence brings. Uh, the AI technologies can enable more flexible working uh, conditions, which is especially important for women uh, balancing their career and family. For example, AI remote work uh, tools uh, make it easier for, for women to work uh, from home. Uh, Flexible, yeah. Uh, so AI technologies uh, can enable more fl uh, more flexible working condi conditions, uh, which is especially important for women. Balance. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> sorry, I saw. <laughs> sorry, I said that already. Um, so, let's uh, let's say about the challenges. Uh, the gender in inequality, despite uh, despite these opportunities. Uh, women in AI still face the stereotypes uh, and significant uh, challenges, uh, including the gender inequality in the workplace. Uh, this includes uh, lower wages, uh, less access to leadership position, and offer often discrimination. Another challenge is access to uh, technology and education. Because women in many parts of the world uh, have limited access uh, to the technologies and digital education, which can uh, limit their opportunities in, uh, in uh, AI fields. Uh, the lack of support networks and mentors is also a challenge. Initia uh, initi uh, initiatives and uh, aimed uh, at providing mentorship and, uh, and support can be the key uh, to overcome these uh, barriers. And now let's look uh, more specifically at how AI can uh, directly support women in their career growth. So artificial intelligence uh, has opened up new fields such as data science and uh, analytics. Uh, women can find uh, opportunities as data scientists, data analysts, uh, or machine learning specialists. For example, at some company where women uh, work as a chief data scientist, they are involved in the de uh, development of advanced machine learning models that influence the key business uh, decisions. And uh, the roles of AI developers and programmers are another example. Yep. Uh, these roles include uh, building and returning the, uh, the algorithm uh, that power AI application. So uh, AI also uh, provides the opportunities for women uh, in business. 
founding their own AI startups uh, is a way for women to use uh, their skills and creativity. Uh, there, there are programs in uh, incubators uh, that support women in starting their uh, businesses, such as WAI Accelerate program from the Women in AI Ex Association, uh, which offers mentorship uh, for uh, uh, female entrepreneurs. So, uh, AI technologies uh, enable uh, remote work and telecommu uh, telecommuting, uh, which is especially beneficial for women who need flexibility uh, due to family commitments. Platforms like Slack, Zoom, or Trello or uh, Google Workspace and others uh, use the AI to optimize uh, the remote work. Uh, it allows uh, women to work from home efficiently and maintain uh, the work-life balance. AI can also help uh, with uh, scheduling flexible uh, working hours. For example, AI tools can analyze the workload and uh, suggest optimal work uh, schedules that meet the individual needs of the employees. Uh, AI can automate routines and uh, administrate, uh, administrative tasks, allowing uh, not only women, but women uh, to focus on uh, the more strategic and creative aspects of their work. Uh, examples include uh, automating emails, uh, uh, scheduling uh, the meetings or uh, managing data, uh, freeing up more time for women to spend on innovative projects. Automating a routine uh, tasks uh, can also reduce work stress and increase the job satisfaction, which is important for women overall well-being uh, in the workspace. So now we can focus on the yeah on the AI uh, on how AI can support uh, women in their family life. So we all all know, uh, all might know uh, that the smart homes uh, are now increasing, and uh, the smart home uh, devices such as robotic uh, va vacuum cleaners and smart lighting uh, and the thermostat uh, can that it can actually save uh, women time and make household uh, manageable and easier the management easier. For example, a smart assistant like uh, Amazon Alexa or Google Home <laughs> uh, can automate everyday tasks uh, like uh, setting alarms, reminding of meetings, appointments, and uh, ordering groceries. Groceries, pardon. Uh, and the AI uh, technologies can also increase the home security through a smart security cameras and sensors that monitor to, uh, the home uh, and alert uh, the suspicious activity. It's really easy. <laughs> uh, you, can, you can just have the, uh, the app in, in your mobile phone and if anybody enters your home, you will know. <laughs> Uh, so, AI-powered educational apps and platforms like uh, Khan Academy or Duolingo, uh, they provide interactive and personalized uh, education for children. Well, not only for children, I use, I use them also. <laughs> uh, these tools can help children uh, learn new skills such as uh, languages or math, or physics, uh, while uh, engaging them in a, in a little bit of fun way, not uh, traditional at school. 
and AI um, a time when uh, home uh, at the time when homes to uh, homeschooling is increasing uh, uh, the popularity uh, AI tool can uh, give parents and help par uh, help parents uh, give them the support and resources they need to engage with the children and teach them actually okay So, uh, time management and planning. It's important uh, for all of us to manage families, career, work, uh, marriage. <laughs> uh, the AI time management tools uh, like smart calendars and planners can help women organize their uh, time between work and uh, family more effectively. Uh, AI assistants like uh, Todoist or tr uh, Trello uh, can help uh, women manage their uh, daily tasks and the project, uh, allowing them uh, to better uh, plan and track their progress. AI technologies allow women uh, to work from home, which is especially beneficial for those uh, with uh, young children or other family com commitments. Uh, the remote work is facilitated by uh, tools such as Zoom, Slack, uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, which use uh, the AI to improve uh, the communication and the collaboration. AI can also help uh, create personal, uh, personalized working condition then, uh, that suits uh, women, uh, women's individual needs. Uh, for example, AI can suggest flexible working hours or uh, adapt the work, uh, workload. We will now focus on how AI contributes uh, to the education. And there are massive open online courses, they named MOOCs. Uh, the AI platforms that uh, it's like Coursera or edX and Udacity offer a wide range of uh, courses uh, from prestigious university from, from around the world. Uh, these courses uh, allow women to acquire new skills and uh, knowledge from the comfort of their home. So everything is online. Some platforms offer specialized programs focused on AI and technical skills, such as data science, or machine le learning or programming. These programs provide women with, uh, with the opportunity to gain a qualification in uh, promising fields. AI technologies enable adaptive learning where uh, educational content adapts uh, to the pace and learning skills and learning styles of individual students. Uh, these, uh, this means uh, that every woman uh, gets exactly the support that she needs. Such as those platforms, as I said before, the Khan Academy or Duolingo, they use AI to monitor uh, the progress and suggest the additional uh, content based on uh, the, pro uh, the individual results. And the AI-powered uh, virtual assistant can provide immediate help and, yeah, and answers to questions uh, during the learning. Okay. Moment, Jess. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't have such uh, so much time. I can see. Sorry. Should I? <laughs> uh, I will skip some, but uh, the, uh, the support for uh, lifelong learning, uh, you can 
uh, you can have a certifications uh, in a, uh, and gain the special uh, specialization. Uh, there are many webinars and online uh, seminars, and you can use you can use AI as a coach or mentor. Wow. <laughs> it's really easy. You can, uh, if you use chatbot, you can just tell him, "I need you to be coach in this field, and I need to solve this problem." And just chat with him. <laughs> it's really easy. You would be surprised. So now I would like to just uh, encourage each of you to use AI in your own life, uh, whether in your professional career, uh, family life, or education. Uh, the, uh, connect with the women in your community uh, and share your experiences. Be the inspiration. And uh, commit to the continuous learning and improving your AI and technological skills. Uh, and also become advocates. Uh, support the project uh, that supports women in uh, technologies and support all the in initiatives that uh, deserves to be <laughs> the support. So thank you very much uh, for this time and <laughs> we'll let you.